Um, since this is a professional congress or conference, I would like to be honest with you. Okay. So I would like to be honest with you. So I'm going to be honest with you right now. And I would like for you to be honest with me at all times. So um, two days ago, we were told that we're going to be attending gym. So we actually didn't have anything at all. So what at the first, we thought the gym was that we were going to create a self-sustainable campaign. <laughs> oh, then we're going to create a self-sustainable campaign, and that, that sustainable campaign, we're going to present it, and people are going to be attacking us on how we could improve the campaign, and that then at the end, the best campaign will win, and we'll have a prize and everything. So we didn't actually know anything about gin. We didn't know that people from um, Costa, Rica. Costa Rica, Panama, yeah, South well, Africa, yeah. Honduras, El Salvador. Okay. We didn't know anything about gin. Okay, so at first, Nicaragua. So at first, Dominican Republic too. Okay. Okay. So, okay, okay. So at first, the thing was that they told us you have to create a self-sustainable campaign. And I said, what is a self-sustainable campaign? And the teacher told us a self-sustainable campaign would be um, an organization where no money is needed for it to start. So at first it was something impossible to us. Like, and we asked questions like, could it be some sponsors, our own money, could we add for the nations? And those three, they said no. So the only thing that we could think of was legalize marijuana, because it's not something that you need a lot of money to begin. You just need like the seeds, you plant them, and actually marijuana is not that offensive. Like it's one of the most positive um, drugs that we have. So that's our name. Spirit is our name. This is a warning sign. Yeah. Just so as a reminder, we're definitely against the legalization of marijuana, like us. And College Inglés too. Because we're part of the College Inglés community. So the College Inglés is against the legalization. Okay? This is just a project that we had, and this is an idea. It's not that we want to legalize it, it's just an idea that could help. So we would like to, rem to remind you that this is a professional campaign and that the legalization of marijuana might be a very complex and important topic to discuss about. This idea would be very helpful in the future if marijuana was to be legalized. So please pay close attention. Um, do you want to watch the video again or not? No. Okay, so we're going to do the activity right now. We're going to start off with the activity. So first, we would like for you to know. Could you could play, please? Just curious. Is it, is it audio? Yes. Yeah. So we want for you to listen to the song. And when you start listening to the song, we want for you to tell us how you feel. Some words, like happiness, whatever you think, whatever you want, okay? Yes, please. No, So what type of words comes to your mind whenever you hear that type of song? Like what is, what is your feelings? Relax. Relax. What, what else? Chill. Chill. Okay. Any other Just words? Relax. Just relax. Chill out. Any others? <laughs> Depressed. Depressed. What else? Okay. Perfect. So this type of songs to us it means sadness. Okay. So this type of songs what makes us feel? is sad because there's a lot of poverty going on in Mexico and other parts of the world and there's a lot of illegal drug trades all around the world. So those are the things that make us sad and that's why we put you this song because we want you to feel the same way we feel about those issues and that people all around the world have a lot of money and they actually don't use that money to make a change in the world. So now we're going to move on to the next activity. So the same, the same thing, okay? Just what pops to your mind whenever you hear that song? Okay, 
Okay, so what do you think about the song? It's happy. It's happy, right? Okay, so that's how we would feel if we actually can accomplish this type of ideas. And if we make a change, we will feel happy and we are going to be in need of creating more campaigns and more things that would actually help the world. Esperto, it comes from a language that is invented by Dr. Lubin Lazarus named Esperanto. He, uh, Esperto means experience yeah. in the Esperanto language. So what we want you to experience is how we help the world and our community. Also, uh, we are very experienced in this topic, so any question that you have, you can ask us. Okay, so why experience? We want the world to experience this new type of creative solutions by using maybe the legalization of marijuana, which is a crazy topic. But this topic actually could help, because in many parts of the world, like in Colorado, in the state of Colorado, they legalized marijuana, and the economy of that country boosted a lot. Like it went very, it diminished some crime rates. The youth keep out, like went out of crimes. Because in Latin America and in the United States in, North, in those countries, one of the world's global issues would be that children all around the world are committing crimes because they don't have food, water, because their basic human rights are taken away from them. So that's why I want the world to experience this new type of crazy ideas that could actually help this type of global issues, which are poverty and drug trade. That's why in our video, we put poverty, like a video from poverty and a video from drug trades, because those are the two topics that we're going to be trying to solve, two global issues. I have one question. Yes? How would the legalization of marijuana like eradicate poverty, or what's your idea behind it? We'll We're okay. explaining um, that later on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. What is a global issue? A global issue is a matter of concern or interest. Okay, so it's a problem that a community or society has, uh, and a global issue is when that problem is worldwide. So poverty and illegal drug trade is something that we all have in our countries. There is not a country that, that doesn't have any of, of those global issues. So we want to try to solve those problems with this out of the box idea. Okay, so now, by legalizing marijuana, what we think that would help would be, they told us, what can you do to create a self-sustainable campaign? So a self-sustainable campaign means it doesn't need any money to start. That's what they told us, so that's what we thought. But now a sustainable campaign, a self-sustainable campaign would mean that we can get out of that campaign and that campaign would uh, like arise and would continue to be um, successful. But now, by legalizing marijuana, we believe that the economy would boost a lot. It will rise and we'll have a lot of money to now try to eradicate poverty and try to put more border patrols, more security in the borders, and try to uh, eliminate the drug trade all around the world. Okay. So, so these are the main benefits that legalizing marijuana would bring us. Which are? By eliminating drug trade, we could resolve poverty issues by earning money and also in the marijuana. And with the money, we can cultivate more marijuana farms. We could implement border security, border patrol, and implement a use of technology to identify these at-risk groups, which are going to be drug trading, uh, marijuana, cocaine, amphetamine, and anything that could actually harm the society. Also, like the ma major export of illegal drugs is of marijuana. It is the drug that they export through land, like in bigger amounts. So if you legalize it and the government takes uh, his yes, yeah, like takes action and helps this. So if you legalize marijuana, you can illegally you move it, you know. So because it's legal now, so if the government helps, there won't be any more illegal trading. Uh, one last benefit. Uh, one last benefit is the like the crime of the cartels will uh, get it diminished because. Well, that marijuana will stop being like the source of income and some marijuana information. Well, did you have a question? Um, are you guys talking about legalizing marijuana for medical uses or just like well, well, that's what we are gonna get to. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, one with like uh. Urban legend about marijuana is that they say that you can die very easily, and that's a lie. 
you can die by overdose of the marijuana. Uh, is the well one of the only drugs that you can overdose and die because of that? Uh, with tobacco and alcohol, there are like millions of dead each year, and with marijuana, well, there hasn't been a single overdose. So as you can see, what this means is that in the whole world, for the past, I don't know how many years we have been here in this planet, there no one has ever died of overdose marijuana. To be able to die by an overdose, you should smoke 1,580 pounds of marijuana in 15 minutes. So that's kind of impossible. And in our community, in our organization of marijuana, we are not going to be giving that amount of marijuana to people. Obviously, with the legalization of marijuana, there come some restrictions, some limitations that we have to take in order to control this issue. Okay, so the amount of marijuana that the people will be able to have. Uh, you can literally use a uh, half seven gra uh, yes, uh, yeah. one pound, one ounce of marijuana, and but that is 28 grams, okay? And for like a joint, you will have need one gram, no, like yeah, one gram to to a joint. But that that like that amount of marijuana, you can only buy it once a month. So practically, you have basically you, can, you just have seven grams per per week and twenty eight grams per month. So you need an average of one gram to be able to roll a joint. Well, so my one of my stop cancer from spreading. Okay, well, cannabidiol stops cancer by turning off a gene called ID1. The study was published in the journal Molecular Cancer Therapeutics. Cancer cells my my make cancer cells make more copies of this gene than non-cancerous cells, and it helps them spread through the body. So, well, cancer helps like. Um, cancer cells, like they reproduce, like a, it's not really a bad cell. It's a cell that reproduces a lot, like in a part of the body. Yeah. What What this means is that if, like marijuana, can help cancer from being spread. Okay, that's something that marijuana is another positive effect of marijuana. And, and another positive effect of marijuana is that, like, when you are in pain, marijuana can like stop it. In medicinal marijuana, it can stop the pain. Okay. Okay, so one very important asset in our society or in the community of many countries are the people inside it. The children, the adults, and we have to take the advantage of these people because if we have the idea of making campaigns to help others, why the people in there that are being helped, why can't they help too? So one very important, um, now we're jumping to another, um, like in our idea, they could actually help poverty and not the illegal drug trade, but just poverty. So our next idea would be the implementation of positive tickets. Do you know what positive tickets are? Have you ever heard of it before? Well, actually, a positive ticket would be that whenever a policeman or an authority catches a kid doing something good to a society, like, imagine that there's a 70-year-old uh, granny on the street, and she cannot cross the street. And then a boy, by itself, he has the initiative to go with her and ask her, like, would you like to, for me to help you cross the street? So if uh, an officer sees that a boy has the initiative to help others in the society, what the officer would do would be give him a positive ticket. And the positive ticket could be to exchange for food, water, clothes, and many more things. And you might be questioning yourselves, how are we going to be doing to get the clothes, get the food, get the water if we don't have any money since it is not a sustainable campaign? So that's how the implementation of the legalization of marijuana might help or might come in handy. Because if we legalize marijuana, we will gain a lot of money because we are going to be giving it for two reasons. One, that is recreational use. But the recreational use, you cannot just smoke it in the street or being in your car as if it was a cigarette. There are going to be some clubs specialized that you need to go there to smoke there because for just recreational use. But you cannot go out of those clubs and be smoking on the street or in your house because that might be a little bit 
um, it, it could create accidents, like car accidents or something like that, because marijuana has some effects that we don't actually like. Okay, so that's how we're going to control those bad effects, and the positive tickets are going to help us find the food and everything, and we're going to give people in poverty those things. Mm -hmm. Right. So basically, basically, with the positive ticket tickets, we're going to help poverty because, well, they won't give a positive ticket every time that they see you. Like, if you do something, like, small, like, really small and good, but the policeman sees that they're doing, like, just because he's watching you or something like that, they won't give you the positive ticket. The positive ticket is more like for communities that have low resources, and we will be helping them by that. Like, because if we just gave them the the stuff for free, they will use it and that's it. They won't do anything good for the community. So with the positive tickets is assuring you, like it's assuring the government that those people will do something good for the society. And another global issue that we're gonna be trying to stop <clears throat> would be youth crime rates. Okay? So in many countries in Latin America what happens is that children don't have well their basic human rights are taken away from them. So they don't have money they don't, so if they don't have money, they don't have the money to buy water, or to eat, or to buy clothes, or to read, or to get an education. So what happens is that they start to commit crimes, robberies, theft, they start to maybe get into gangs. Actually, a fact is that a lot of children in Latin America, by the age of 10, they're already in a gang, doing ugly stuff for the ones in charge. So the people, the young children, are just being the ones that are doing the dirty work for the ones that have more years of age. So this is a real issue, and what these positive tickets might do is help diminish the crime rates in Latin America, because this will keep children out of the streets doing negative things, because they can, they can get like water, food, clothes, and things like that, by just making good things in their community and in their society. Also, if we legalize marijuana, it will help poverty, because it will create jobs. Like, when you have to plant the crops, it will have fields, like the government will have the fields, and we need workers that will help well, planting it and making sure it's all right. So that will create jobs all around the countries that realize my one. Uh, regarding with what you say, like uh, the, the control of selling marijuana, like only eight grams a week, how you control like the people not buying on? Well, actually, we're gonna create like the, com the campaign itself. It's gonna be um, bonded, being that said, like with the government. So that everything is controlled, and sometimes we know that there's corruption. So we're gonna try to ask you in the activity for ideas on how to stop corruption, so we can control the marijuana. There's no like, well, this guy got marijuana illegally from us, and then sell it for more money and things that like. In every campaign, some problems arise, and we need you to tell us what we can do to eradicate this type of issues that might arise that may arise in the future. What if a person thinks that that's not enough for him? So there's still going to be like illegal trading because people are going to know that there's somebody that's going to want to buy more. Yeah, but there's like, it will be, there's always uh, illegal trading, like even in tobacco or alcohol, but it will be like a, in a small scale. Like, if marijuana is illegal, there are like, country, like, huge amount of illegal trading, right? But if it's utilized, but they have a certain amount, uh, there may be, and that's why we're asking for a uh, solution for that, but it will be like in a much smaller scale that even policemen could like, take action in that. If you have any question of beef, like, feel free to ask, okay? Marijuana tax. This will be how we will get like more money, money from the well, the bounties that sell the marijuana. We will have to pay a tax to the government. So that that's how it's gonna be linked. The taxes from gained from the marijuana are the ones that will be going to be like to stop poverty in this case. So this addition. Tax charge will be used to give out food and some other basic human rights that have been taken away from these children and adults in poverty. So, as you can see, the taxes will be from these marijuana sales will be given to 
children and adults in poverty. By this comment, we mean that in some states from the United States, like Colorado, that's how it's the fastest growing industry from the United States. Like from Colorado, those states are really like it. Um, the licensing marijuana will generate like a mostly 8.7 million in federal and state tax revenue per year. Uh, as it says here, marijuana is the fastest growing industry in the U.S. in 2015. So imagine having 8.7 billion dollars in tax, just by tax. What could we do with 8.7 billion dollars to eradicate poverty and eradicate drug trades? So could you please just raise your hands and try to answer that question? Like, what can we do with 8.7 billion dollars a year? But by that help the terminated. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's. Well, we could give like many human rights to lots of people in poverty. So it's a very good way that would help us to end poverty. Also, uh, with this money, we're gonna make the possible tickets like some money of this go to that. And we're gonna create campaigns, so we are gonna build like houses to be poor and stuff like that. These are some facts about poverty that you might know, but nearly one half of the world's population, more than 3 billion people, live on less than $2.50 a day. So imagine if we have $8.7 billion just by tax. What could we do with just $8.7 billion to spread it all around Mexico? or even all around the world. So with the help of all the governments, we could actually legalize marijuana in every country, if possible. Or not legalize it in every country, but in some states where poverty and drug trades are the global issues that are really affecting that city or that uh, country itself. Also, in 2011, 165 million uh, children, uh, they were stunned. That it means like, because they didn't have the, enough food to eat, they they have like a very low height, like they're tiny and very thin. And it was because they didn't have the money to buy the food. And with this money, we're, we can do the positive tickets so they can buy food. Or with the campaigns that we're going to create, we're going to be able to give food to... And not only food and like homes where they could live, but like educational centers where, where these kids learn. And well, this way they can start to be creative and work them by themselves. And all of these kids that uh, do not have access to water will be the same. Like, we have to, with all that tax money, we will we'll, like, try to uh, give them the facility to have access to water and sanitation and sanitation. And so now, with this given information, do you actually think that by legalizing marijuana, we could actually achieve to eradicate poverty in many parts of the world and actually achieve to try to eradicate the drug trade? in countries that need these things. Also, uh, the government will uh, invest in companies like What is Life, <coughs> so we can help children all around the world. I, I don't know if you mentioned it before, sorry for not hearing, but is the selling of marijuana only be available for adults? Yeah. Yeah. And how are you going to solve like, ch children addicted to marijuana and trying to like... My main problem is that the children are addicted to marijuana and they will steal in order to get the marijuana. So, yeah. Well, first of all, uh, marijuana is not, like, you can get addicted to marijuana, it's not addictive. So, children can be addicted to something that is not addictive. Right? One, one funny fact would be that you can get more addicted to Oreo, Oreo cookies than to marijuana. So, uh, so it's just uh, but, like can I then everything in the world's addictive? Like it may be oh, yeah. higher level. Yeah. But, <laughs> yeah, that's that's like that's yeah. that's what we were trying to explain. In every type of issue, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of problems that might arise. Also, that uh, may arise. You like uh, alcohol? Like there is not a solution for kids to not drink alcohol, but they like it's not real, but they still do it. So we're not saying, <laughs> but we're gonna. Right, like they, you can only smoke on the special places, so they won't let people like underage enter there. Like I like the project and everything and the ideas. I just have one question. Like a lot of people say that marijuana is like the open gate of the drug, right? Yeah. And that marijuana opens gates like cocaine and everything else. And I just have one question. Like, what are you? What are your like brainstorm ideas on how you would then limit like people loosening up and like doing other types of drugs? Okay, so the first thing that we actually forgot that we were about to say 
would be that we don't want to send the wrong message to children. We don't want to send the wrong message, and by that we mean that we, want the, we don't want the children to think that smoking or that, um, like, consuming. using drugs or consuming do drugs are good. So we are trying to, in this campaign as well, create presentations, awareness. talk to people, create awareness that marijuana is the only drug right now that has been proven to give these positive effects. And now, by the, by the question that you made, um, well, if we do more, like if we create more efficient ways to stop the drug trade, maybe we can stop the cocaine drug trade or the methamphetamine drug trade and all those types of things for heroin. And we could actually, with the money raised, we could actually create more security on how to, or use the, the, the technology to identify the groups that are um, doing or creating these drugs so that we can try to prevent the creation of these drugs and things like that. So that's why the main question or our essential question would be, would you think that by legalizing marijuana we could stop many global issues around the world? Uh, also to that question, like with the money that will have like the increase in the security, it will uh, like it won't disappear the other drugs because that's impossible to do, right? But it will lower the amount of drug that enters like civilized persons, you know. So that would. What what in in a certain amount of time, marijuana will become normal, so it, people would want something more not normal and they would go for another drug that's worse. Um, do you want us to answer the ground? Okay, so now we're going to continue with another activity. How much time do we have? We have 14. Okay, so we're going to take just four minutes to questions, okay? And then the next ten minutes we're going to be debating about the legalization of marijuana. Okay, so just try to think of statements and try to think of things that would actually try to convince people to legalize it or not to legalize it. Okay? We will be, we will be uh, choosing people randomly. Okay. okay so people, like, you have to think about that if you like the program, that like, it will, if you will support it or not. Or <laughs> okay, so any questions about the topic or about the solutions? I just have a question about the positive tickets. Uh -huh. um, how do you know that someone is not setting a uh, scenario up? Like, how do you know uh, the example that you gave of the uh, the lady that couldn't cross, cross the street? How do you know that you're, someone is not, like, setting that up? First of all, like I said in the presentation, it won't be, like, every time that you do, like, a small thing. But if there is, there's, like, a... Like, if they give it to you, like, from the first, like... It will be if you do something like greater, that it's not that you can plan that thing. Also, uh, it will be on, like with the money that we have, we're going to create campaigns, so people won't be in, in need to do that, you know? That's like a, like a reward if you do something good. But with the campaigns that we're going to create, with the money that we earn, like there will be less poverty, so people won't need to... And, and another thing would be, that these people are really in need of these things. So imagine, they just, they're in their houses, they're very poor, they actually don't have anything to eat, and if they do, it's very little for the whole family. And a lot of times, there are families that have from 15, well, no, from 10 to 15 members in the family, some big families here in Mexico, and they're poor, and they don't have anything to eat. So these people, if you come, if, if, if they're there in the house, and they're not doing anything, and they're not receiving any help, and they cannot grow because they don't have any education, to get a job or to, pro or to progress. If they're just alone in their houses and someone comes and they say, well, we're going to be implementing these positive tickets. If you do good random acts of kindness all around the community, maybe we will give you food, water, shelter, or not maybe, we are going to give you some food. But as I said, we need evidence or we need someone to be um, looking around the places. And actually something that went, like I forgot to, say, to mention about the positive tickets, will be the volunteer idea. We're not going to be asking for people to volunteer. People will want to be in our project because we're going to be giving them some privileges inside the project, which are positive tickets. And those positive tickets don't really have to be about money, They're about uh, water, food, and things like that. Because if you're not in need, maybe you can exchange them for, uh, I don't know. In, the, in Canada, some positive tickets were going around, 
And what they did, they said <laughs> poor people in a high, um, in a high society, what they were giving them would be like That's coupons for McDonald's or, or coupons for being one hour free in Kitsania or things like that, like in places of fun. So those are our ideas to eradicate these type of issues. I don't know if you like them or not, but we will now proceed with a debate about marijuana. Okay, so who would like to participate? There's just two people, okay? Please step up to the front. Anyone else who would like to participate? Okay, so do you want to be okay? So do you want to be um, in favor or against? Okay, so these several things that we're doing, like improvising, um, we're improvising for each other's ideas on how we can also, problems that might arise in the future, those problems, how can we just like make more campaigns or just implement more ideas to eradicate the possible arising issues that might come in the future, okay? You said that by uh, legalizing marijuana, you would eradicate the illegal trading. But what about the other drugs? Uh, the other no. drugs have a small percentage. Like marijuana has a 2.5 in illegal drug trade. Like in. Oh, sorry. Like seventy-eight percent of the illegal trade is marijuana. The other drugs. The other amount of money, like of percent, is the other drugs. I'm not good at math. So, uh, like seventy-eight percent is marijuana. I think it was no, no, like three percent was ecstasy or yeah, ecstasy, and the rest was two percent the smaller drugs, and the rest it was cocaine, 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 yeah. So. If you eradicate like the biggest part, and with the money that the money the government will have to that with the marijuana, they will increment security in borders, so the illegal trafficking will be like it will go down. Yeah. Uh, any other question? Are we allowed to participate, like, even though we're not in the house? Yes. Yeah, of course, of course. Tell, like, yeah, like, maybe, look, maybe you can sit down yeah, in your yeah. places and then yeah. everybody starts, yeah. like, yeah. participating. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> like, I just want, like, I, well, I don't know if you want to do this, uh, like, they can represent, like, one side of the yeah. classroom. Perfect. Like, we can get my ideas open. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, so, that's perfect. Here to there. This is, uh, there are, there are, okay, now, in favor against, or against, or against, or against, or against, or against, no, we're just gonna. Oh, everyone is out. Oh, Side that is your favor, you start. 
uh, it should be legalized because uh, sin, uh, thousands of tax dollars are saved by illegal smuggling. So by making it legal, uh, a lot of money could be gotten for the government. Okay, so you mentioned that the government will take a lot of money for those those taxes. How do you know that the government is going to use it for good use? Like here in Mexico, do we see any government that is corrupt? It has corrupt a lot of money, and how can they spot its house? Well, that is not a, that is the responsibility of the people to ensure that their governments run properly. Instead of if they want to legalize something that is for the benefit of the ma'al, then it's their responsibility to make sure it works. That's why it's a democracy. Yeah, of course, but we shouldn't grant responsibility to the government if we know that they're corrupt. So then we change the government. So that's basically impossible. <laughs> if it's a democracy, you can. Yeah, but you have to wait well, I don't know about the constitution of Mexico, but. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I don't know. If, I don't know if this is what you want to do, but a debate is not like just going on about one problem. I mean, we can, yeah, well, we can also yeah. try others. I mean, like this isn't an idea. Like, 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 you may like, like you have to pass the <laughs> this is a law that you have to pass, <laughs> and you're against passing this program, and you're in favor. You pay all the questions for us. Yeah. So, okay. So, okay. 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 That what I've been watching in the past few days would be that people from around the world or people from Latin America, what they've been doing is they're going to be bringing some campaigns, such as Rice and such as Water is Life, or maybe campaigns that you have created in your countries that have been working, that they have been for five years or for one year or for maybe two years or months. We actually didn't know that we needed to present one idea that we were doing in our community. So that's why we presented a new idea that we created two days ago, okay? So one more thing that I have to say would be that two years ago, what we did was we collected a group of people. We were about 22 people, and what we did is we located one group uh, at risk. That they were some little girls that they could not see with one eye, or that they have problems in the eyes, and they needed surgery. But they were poor, and they didn't have the money to buy, to buy those surgeries. So what we did is we got together a group of 22 people, and this is something that you might do in your country that actually help people. So what we did is we got together 22 um, persons from my from my school, and what we did is car wash. We baked and we sold those bakes, those cakes and those uh, brownies. <laughs> and things like that. So what we did was some easy things like car washes. And if you really create awareness of what we're doing, people will go to those car washes. Okay. So what we did was basically we reunited about seven. Thousand? Fourteen thousand pesos in Mexico with one car wash. So we have to also in, in football games, they, we they sell cakes and lollipops. And we also create. Chips and anything. Yeah, and we also create a, a lot of money. Can you explain your video to me real quick? Huh? I, can you explain your video to me real quick? Yeah, why I like, shifted from the oh yeah, the look, drug to the did you did you see the, the part where we were talking? No, the where you hear the just no, like is that with the money from the money? Well, the uh, uh, vaccination. Uh, I was gonna go for that. It helps for uh, poor uh, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, um, so we reunited fourteen thousand pesos in just one car wash, and with that car wash, we got to pay two okay. surgeries of seven thousand pesos to girls that couldn't see from one eye. And after that, we were with them the whole the whole process. So they just don't need the money, but they need someone to be there with them, supporting, supporting them at every step and every uh, stage of the surgery. So we were there before. She was taking and talking about her experience, that she was walking and she could not see half of, imagine just being like walking and just being able to see what like half of your face. So you cannot see the whole thing, so you have to literally like 180 degrees all around. So maybe you could do an activity real quick of you doing like this and walking throughout the 
the classroom. The classroom. It's really difficult to see the other part of the classroom. Well, no, just look around with another class. It might, like, if you can see with that eye. Okay. Like, if you had to look here, if you had to copy stuff from here, you wouldn't be able to do it. So, yeah, that's all. No. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Well, so that's what we did, and we encourage you to create some random acts of kindness all around your country. Even if they don't give you a positive ticket, you shouldn't stop your